Today's mentor text screen light is probably my favorite perennial text for teaching any kind of narrative. And that is Ralph Fletcher's Marshfield Dreams. I love this book for so many reasons, but let me give you a couple of specifics. First of all, it opens with this neighborhood map. And I know that lots of us over the years have had our students do this in their notebooks as kind of a brainstorming activity for topics to write about. And I love that we get to see a real writer doing just that because the pages of this memoir are filled with stories that happen in these particular locations. Marshfield is the name of its town. So being rooted in a sense of place is really important. In fact, once you have your students do a neighborhood map, they can use the very first essay in this memoir, Marshfield, to elaborate upon that map and kind of write it out in sentences, what they featured in their neighborhood map and in their town. Another thing I love about Marshfield Dreams is how incredibly accessible these stories are. They are short. First Pen is one of my very favorites. And you can see it's just a couple of pages. In fact, no story in this book is more than six or seven small pages long, which makes them mentor texts that our students can really dig into. They can mine a lot of craft and ideas out of a small space. There are lots of different ideas in this book, speaking of ideas. Um, you know, there are essays writing about specific family members, specific places, specific events that happened, um, but all in a really small way, all in a kind of micro way that allows our kids to really get into it. The language is accessible, but clearly crafted, very intentional, so it can teach us a lot about craft too. The last thing that I love about Marshfield Dreams, although it's not the last because I love so many, is that each little tiny essay is really self-enclosed. Here's an important thing and why it's important, which is exactly what we teach when writing personal essay. But they start to show us how those little tiny personal essays can collect together um, around themes to become a memoir. So if you have students who are only ready to write a two-page story, you could use this, a longer story, you could use this, or even students who are ready to do a little bit more and start crafting mini memoirs could use Marshall Dreams as a mentor text to see how you put those pieces in order to craft a larger memoir. Marshall Dreams by Ralph Fletcher.